good everyone my name is graphics if you look at your top right corner of your screen you discover that there's a question there and the question goes like this it says three points x y and z are shown in the figure two positioned relative to two axes o a and o b draw the figure and draw an arc to pass through the three points now this is the figure right if you look at the figure it says with respect to what two axes right o a and a b right so let's first of all draw the two axes which is what o a and a b and see how that goes so let's see I'll draw the figure first one which is saying to be OA All right that is OA let's take this up so this is the first one and um, let's do for the second one here which is this You can see that now this is o a this is o this is what a right so this is b and this is a so this is the two point the two line if you look at your screen you see that we have the vertical point b here a so this is o a and o b and it says the three points x y z are positioned relative to what the two axes so they are positioned relative to this now let's see from the figure if you look at it very well we have three points on that figure let me zoom it out so you see that x y z you can see that now how can i get x it means that if i travel along a 25 millimeter and I travel along B 35 millimeter, I'll get to X. So let's see how to do that. So if you look at the 25 here, right? We have from this point O, I'm going to measure 25. So from 0 to this is 25, right? Then I'll take my C square, right, and I'm going to project this with my front line upward. You can see that? So on that line, if you look at that point X, the vertical one there that's connecting to point X is 35. So it means that I will measure 35. So with the help of my rule, I'm going to measure 35 as shown on your screen so this point here this point what point X right cannot put it this way this point you see here is what point X 25 from OA from OB and 35 from what? OA. Now the next point is Y. If you look at the screen very well, I've enlarged it. You see that we have a Y there at the center there. So the from OB, the distance of Y from OB, the vertical line of OB is what? 65. So I'm going to measure 65 from that direction. So from here, I'll measure 65 right and i'm going to use my c square and project 65 upward right and um, the height to y is 25 from oa right. so relative to oa you measure y to be what 25 so from zero we have 25 so i'm going to do that this point is my y 
right? Then for Z, if you look out from Z, it says Z relative to OB, Z is 100. From B, from line OB, uh, Z is 100. So you measure 100 from this point. From O, I measure 100. So this is 100 here. So with the help of my T square and C square, I'm going to project the 100 upward. Right? So from this point, I'll take it upward. Right? So on that line of 100, so I want to measure the height. The height will be how many? Cut your screen. To, to Z, that will give us what? 50 millimeters. So to Z now, is 50 so I'm going to measure 50 measure 50 right so we're going to have what's called Z this is my Z so it means that um, from X from OB to X is 25 from OA to X from is that what is 35 from OB to Y is 65. From OA to Y is 25. From, o, from OB to Z is 100. From OA to Z is 50. So I want to now join the three of them together. So how will I use an arc to join three of them? First of all, use a straight line to connect the points. Use a straight line to connect the points. With your front line, right? So this will have is a compass to bisect x, y, and what and y, z, x, y, and what y, z. So what you do with your knowledge of bisection is telling you that place your compass at the point you want to bisect the two points. This is what we are bisecting here, right? So with the same radius, you just take your line and you bisect and hack this way, and you come here bisect and hack this way, right? You do it up and you also do it down, and you come to X with the same radius. You do it up and you also what? You do it down, right? So in doing that, you take your compass and your ruler and you connect those two points together. So this is what we just did, we just bisect. So I'll just connect these two points together with fake line. Right? So let's see. Let's go up a little. So we've come up. Right? So in doing that, we'll do the same thing for Z and Y. So I'll place it at point Z and Y. So, with this radius, I'm going to strike up, right, and I'm going to also strike down. So, with the same radius, I'll take it to Z. I'll do the same thing. I'll strike up, and I'll strike down. So, where these two meet, here and here, I'm going to connect it with a straight line, where the line should be faint, such that, is going to intersect with my what? My XY, which is this. So they are meeting at this point here. So from that point, you place your compass at this center point here and take it to the beginning, the initial point, which is X, and you draw your arc. That will connect the three of them. So this is what we are having. Right? So you take in it. Is that again? So what we've done, we have successfully connected these three points with what? With an arc, right? So whenever you are told to connect any three points, either of how the points are arranged, whether you are having it this way, this way, or this way, anyhow, just connect the three points together and bisect each of them. Wherever they meet, you draw an arc that will connect the three of them. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button.
Thanks for watching.